Hey guys, Nature Guy X46 here, and today we are going to be talking about a true giant in the animal world, and we are also going to be diving deep for this one. We are talking about the giant squid, the scientific name over there. These squid are true giants. Now, exactly how large these squids are is up for some discussion. I came across a starting length of around 33 feet, but also saw where they can reach lengths of around 50 feet. If you visit the Smithsonian, uh, they have a female giant squid on exhibit, uh, not alive, it is preserved, um, that is 25 feet in length. Now, how do they get the 50 feet? Well, from the tip of the mantle, all the way up to these long tentacles, sorry, you can't see that, to these long tentacles, which are, when fully extended, can take a squid up to 50 feet. The giant squid, the largest giant squid uh, was 59 feet and weighed in at 440 pounds. They have also found giants that have weighed in at a ton, but they may weigh less than a thousand pounds. They also have one of the largest eyes in the animal kingdom. The eyes can measure which is pretty crazy, but they can measure um, 10 inches across, or 10 and a half inches across, and a foot in diameter. Their main heart is the size of four basketballs. Think about that. They also have three hearts, by the way. Squids have eight tentacles, and two large feeding tentacles. Squids are armed with a beak, and all squids have these, just not these guys. Um, and if you look in the center of his mouth, there's the beak way down in there. Um, the beak looks a lot like a um, parrot's beak and inside of there there is a radula which is like a tongue that is what they use sorry y'all these the radula is covered in sharp toothy protrusions and all of this helps them to eat the food that they're eating or trying to eat. The feeding tentacles are longer than the regular tentacles and they actually double the length of the giant squid. They can grab prey up to 33 feet away. Uh, giant squids are known to feed on fish, shrimp, squid, and there are some people who think they even feed on small whales. By the way, giant squid is an apex predator. Um, you can see a video talking about that. I will put the information either into the video or into the description. Now, these tentacles are armed with suckers that are actually toothed. And it's not uncommon to see sperm whales with scars on their bodies where they've gone to battle with giant squid. So why do the sperm whales have scars on them? Well, sperm whales are known to feed on giant squid. These suckers you really can't see them too well.
maybe sorry guys anyway those suckers can be about two inches across now a little bit about their anatomy this is the head then they have the eight arms and the two feeding arms or tentacles this is what they use to force water out of the body and they use that to actually move this is the mantle and the mantle is actually where all of the major organs are. Um, the giant squid may actually be the cause of the legends of the Kraken, which is a giant octopus-like creature. The first pictures of a live giant squid were taken in 2004, and the first live video of a giant squid was done in 2006. It's believed that the giant squid is home in all the oceans, and they live at a depth of around 1,000 feet, somewhere between 1,000 feet and 2,000 feet. Giant squid are said to only live for five years, and they mate only once. And the female will lay a clump or clumps of about 1 million eggs. So that is a little video on giant squid. Sorry for it being so bland. Um, maybe we'll talk about why that is in another video. But for now, this is Nature Guy X46 saying goodbye.